We're looking at the 7240 rotary heat press. Uh, this particular unit has an 8 inch diameter drum, it's oil heated, and in its standard configuration is good for roll to roll uh, sublimation transfer printing. The exception here is that this unit is outfitted with our narrow web uh, infeed system for doing for doing dye sublimation on lanyards, ribbons, elastic, pet leashes, these kinds of things. So the video is going to focus on the narrow web application using our uh, 7240 heat press. So more about the narrow web infeed system and how that's utilized to feed narrow web into the rotary heat press. First thing I'll do is I'll, I'll describe the different components and what they're used for. Down here, these are the unwinds for the printed substrate, the ribbon, uh, the le leashes, whatever product that you have on a roll. Y'all know where the air is? Okay, this is for your printed product. These spools here are where you would normally load your uh, your print paper uh, if you're running narrow web print paper. Up here you can do wide format printing and and instead of the narrow and run multiple lanes on uh, this this unit up to 18 inches wide. To thread the machine up you will first need tissue paper and the tissue paper is always started first then the print paper which can be taped to the tissue paper with heat tape and then your products taped to the tissue paper to line up via these small collars adjusted with an Allen wrench to to make the alignment of the printed product with the print paper. We're live. The product unwind in this case is outfitted with a 3 8 inch spindle that is set up for a particular size of unwind core and can and we can accommodate different sizes upon request so in this case you would load the product here put it into place slide the next lollipop over so that it holds the first one on the spindle load another one and again move the lollipop over to hold it in place so you can use multiple lanes on the print paper it is much the same way. We can accommodate different spindle sizes upon request. This is the basic. It's 3 inch as in most print paper comes on a 3 inch core. So it is loaded the same way. It slid onto the hub, placed into position, and the next hub is then slid over to hold it in place. <laughs> 